i1 Profiler makes it fast and easy to profile your display. In the next few minutes, I'll take you through the process to achieve accurate on-screen color. You should warm up your display for about 30 minutes prior to calibration to make sure that the color is stable. i1 Profiler's basic user mode will take you through a simplified workflow to create a display profile. To get started, click the Display Profiling button. You'll see your workflow diagram at the bottom of this window. These are the steps that you'll perform to create a new display profile. If you have more than one display connected, select the one you would like to calibrate and profile. This will move the software window to the center of the selected display. Select the white point for your profile from this list. At the top are the standard CIE daylight illuminants. D65 is the choice for most people working in photography and graphics. D50 is commonly used in prepress. Native will use the white point of the monitor. This setting is for those who already set the white point for their monitor through some other method and do not want to change it. Near the bottom are the options to set custom white point values, either using a daylight temperature slider control for values from 5000 to 7500 or by entering the XY chromaticity coordinates. For those working in a controlled lighting condition, there is an option to match your monitor's white point to the measured white point of your ambient light. I will use the most common choice of D65. Next, select the luminance of the display. Most users of LCDs will find that 120 provides a display that is bright enough to judge color and detail in highlights and shadows. If you're having a hard time seeing details in the highlights, try selecting a lower value. Use Native if you don't want to change your monitor's luminance value. Custom is available if you want to select any value between 80 and 250. There is also an option to have the software automatically adjust your display's luminance to match the ambient room light measured with your i1 Pro. I will select 120. Click Next to proceed. If your device says Device Ready, you don't need to calibrate. Otherwise, place your device on its white tile and click the Calibrate button. Now it's time to set up your display hardware. Automatic Display Control takes advantage of a feature that's available on some displays, allowing the software to access the display's internal calibration controls. Or you can choose to adjust your brightness and contrast manually, which is what I'll do for this demo. Click Start Measurement. The software will prompt you to hang your measuring device on the display. Click Next to continue. The software will measure your display's contrast. Use the adjustments on the front panel of your display to bring the indicator to the middle of the green zone and click Next. The software will then measure the display's brightness. Again, use the controls to bring the indicator to the middle of the green zone to match the luminance settings you selected in the first step. Click Next. A series of colors will be displayed and measured. This preview shows the expected values in the upper left corner of each patch and the measured value in the lower right. Click Next. Give your profile a name that includes the name of the monitor. If you're using a Macintosh, you have the option to select User Level if you want this profile to only be available to you. Select System Level if you want everyone who uses this computer to be able to use the profile. Click Create and Save Profile. When the profile is complete, radio buttons allow you to compare how the image looked before and after the calibration. Other images are available behind this drop-down to help you evaluate your monitor's colors. If you're curious, click the middle LUTs button, it looks like a graph, to see which calibration adjustments the i1 profiler made to the computer's video card. This fine-tuning helps match the display to the selected white point and gamma settings. And a gamut view is available by clicking the first button. With i1 Profiler, it really is that simple. Your monitor is calibrated, profiled, and displaying accurate color.